Oh, what's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, big shout out to my doggy, the Singaporean auditor for coming through and boosting up the coin. So, well, 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 big salute to Daniel, the former BLM member, De Bois. fair play to him man. Now, in my pre-fight analysis slash betting prediction situation, I had Hergovic, however, I did say that I wouldn't bet on this fight. This fight for me, I said at the time, was a 60-40 fight. And really, it's crazy what people say, how it comes back around. In as much as, if anyone was going to quit last night, it was Hergovic. That cut saved him, I reckon. He was, what was it, round seven? That round seven saved, or whatever round it was. That round, the fact that the judge or doctor stopped it, yeah. That saved dude from going out, either spark on his back... And or, you know what, the way the body language is looking to me, I don't know what's in Hergovic's heart yet, but he looked to me like a man who was, he was fixing to get out of there. I'm going to be honest with you. There was no complaints, for example, when the doctor called it off. We all saw Joe Joyce had a big bungled eye versus Zhang, and he was like, what's going on, kind of thing. There was no complaints from Hergovic. He was ready to be out of there. He'd had the fight beat out of him, which is quite shocking. Uh, all that talking he did, oh, I put you in hospital in sparring, I did this, I did that, oops, busted, <laughs> he got popped straight in his mouth, but nah, that's not how the fight went, Hergovic was dominating the first couple rounds, super fast pace, but it seems to be with these heavyweights man, they ain't got no condition, that's the bottom line, they're big as you like yeah, but they got about four rounds of gas, and that's what we saw tonight with Hergovic, boxing skill for boxing skill, it was clearly Hergovic all day, but when... There's an old saying, cardio makes mice of all men. You can be the biggest, hardest dude you want. When you run out of gas, it takes a very special individual. I mean, is it even possible to find some more? Hergovic ended up being slow. He was super quick at the start, super sharp. He ended up being slow and just clinging on and was luckily saved. I actually felt sorry for Dubois. I said to Michelle, I said, listen, I was pissed off. When the doctor stepped in there, I couldn't see the damage. I saw the eyebrow one, but I thought that's a cut over the eye. Like Fury had a cut over the eye against Wallen for 12 rounds. Now, apparently that was another cut. I need to investigate that. I can't really see on this picture. Apparently, though, it was the cut on his under his right eyelid, which is pretty dangerous. In fact, there might have been a cut there as well more time. Look here. So, yeah, basically, this guy was chopped up, although there was a few headbutts, and it did seem to be Dubois' head. Now, I don't know this, but Dubois did seem to be coming in with his head a bit, but end of the day, people, it's a fight. However, I think the commentator said it was a punch that caused the cut. I don't know. I mean, cuts can make a big difference, all due respect. You can be fighting okay and the cut can come in, all of a sudden you can't see. I mean, this eye was shagged here, look. He looks like he's got a cut underneath his left eye and a cut over it. So, the cut over it, that's going to have blood going into your eye, so you can't see jack. The cut under it is going to be, like, imagine that. Feel how soft the skin is under your eyes and that's that tearing deep dangerous and that's ultimately people and there may have even been another cut under this eyelid so yeah this i don't know what what's Dubois got gillette Dubois, gillette sorry daniel gillette Dubois, just slicing dude up looking like wolverine yeah it's looking to me like philip hergovich would have looked better coming out of fight with Freddy Krueger. That's how his optics are looking to me. Just sliced him to bits. <laughs> but yeah, man, more time. Respect for Dubois. People will say, YB, you're jumping on the bandwagon now. No, never that. I respect people handling their business. Yeah, and Dubois, I thought, I think after round three or four, I thought, oh, here we go again. I thought Dubois was going to fall off because he got popped in the mouth a few times. It was looking like it was going left for him. I thought, oh, he finished now. There's no way he's going to come back now because he's going to get tired. And then he get popped some more. But he actually, for the first time in Dubois' career, I saw him getting hit yet, and it, it spurred him on. I thought, go on, Dubois. That's it. I can back that. He was getting hit and things weren't going well, and he wanted more. He came out, I think it was round seven or six, one of the last rounds, and just had another lease of life. And this is, people, what I told you the other day. It's not rocket science, but... Having a big heart, yeah, it was clear. I don't care what no one says, yeah. Boxing skill for boxing skill, it was Hergovic all day, even in the fight. But heart is the great equaliser. 
Let's say Hergovic is an 8 out of 10 skill. Hart, and let's say De Bois is a 7, yeah? Hart, or even... And, uh, Hergovic was quicker as well. So Hart, yeah, can make up for deficits in skill, deficits in speed. If you're a hard bastard and you want to fight, especially these days, Dana White said it, in this day and age, yeah, being hard, you probably get halfway to world champion, just, but just by wanting to fight, by having someone in there and refusing to lose. It don't mean you're going to beat the best, beat, beat Terence Crawford, for example, but it means you're in the mix. Because cats these days, Hergovic, all due respect, he got a bit tired and didn't really want to know anymore, which we already knew, to be fair. We knew this from the Zhang fight. The Zhang fight, he got put down and looked tired. Zhang's tired, as you like, like he normally is. And Hergovic was kind of just... I did say that before the fight. I said, yep, yeah, Bois has shown he can quit before, but equally... I wasn't sold on Hergovic. When Hergovic got put down by Zhang, yeah, he didn't show so much in the back straight of that fight. He kind of, he, he did better than Zhang, but Zhang fell off a cliff. Yeah? Just because Zhang was a 2 out of 10, doesn't mean Hergovic was great. It means Hergovic was like a 3 out of 10. That's still not acceptable at this level. And Hergovic, he did all the rah-rah. He was doing the most rah-rah. Oh, I'll put you in hospital. I, mean, I like it. I respect, or oh, I like that way of talking. I'll put you in hospital. I'm sending you back there. First class ticket to Riyadh's finest operating centre. That's what Hergovic said. Oops. <laughs> he didn't want no more. And I rate Dubois for that. And that's what... I hope Dubois feels good about that. Taking someone's soul. It must feel so much better from his perspective, yeah? To f like, it's so much better taking someone's soul like that than giving yours. It's so much better to take someone's booty, no diddy, than to get yours took. And in, against Joe Joyce, against Yuzik, Dubois got his soul slash his diddy taken. Now he the diddy. Now you are the diddifier. Yeah, now Daniel, Daniel the diddler. Dubois, he diddling dudes right now. Virgin dudes. And Dubois said this. Dubois said, listen, Jarrell Miller, I popped his cherry for him. Hergovic, I popped his cherry for him. Stopped them both as well. This is what heavyweight boxing is supposed to be about. That's how you're supposed to feel. So salute, salute to, to Dubois, because from my opinion, I didn't see him, I, I didn't see him ever finding it. I thought that would define his career. And this is, if Dubois does nothing else here, if Dubois does nothing else, he won't be known, in my opinion, as the out-and-out -out quitter at this point. Let's not forget, he was a 3-1, to 4-1 to one underdog. That's a 3-1 to one underdog. He wasn't supposed to win that fight. Never mind, stop him. Never mind... It looked like he was, uh, again, Hergovic got saved. He was going to get knocked spark out the way things was looking. Unless, the, unless Hergovic got a massive second wind, but with them cuts here and not being able to see, I don't think a second wind would have done it. And Dubois was only getting more turned on. That's one thing Dubois does do well. If you end up being food in there, oh, you food. If you end up sweet, he liked that for sure. But even in them early rounds when Hergovic was fighting hard, the bar didn't get discouraged. So I do salute Derek... J um, what's his name? Not Dom Charles. Is it Dom Charles? I'm not sure. Don Charles. Don Charles. I do respect Don Charles because trying to change someone's head like that. Look at AJ, for example. AJ came back against Ruiz and fell off for five years. Had about ten trainers and couldn't get it done. And this, people, is what I was trying to tell you about AJ. The bar... Actually, yes, I'd say Dubois has quit more than AJ, but bear in mind how young Dubois was. Dubois, in my opinion, has allowed it less to define his career. What do I mean by that? Well, when AJ quit against Ruiz, yeah, he completely changed his whole paradigm. Oh, I need to learn how to run now, because I don't... The big bruiser, the big flat track bully, yeah, oh, I don't want to fight no more. That is the pinnacle of corny. Changing your whole... Imagine seeing Mike Tyson lose a fight, yeah, and then all of a sudden try and be on the back foot and jabbing. It's like, oh, yeah, that's whack. Oh, you're broken, kind of thing. Dubois, when he's come back now, he didn't. He hasn't changed his identity. He either wins, busting you up, or not at all. And that's how it should be, my opinion. You have to fight to your strengths. If AJ's never going to be the ballet dancer. It's impossible, genetically speaking. Yeah, he's athletic and he can almost do anything, but he's never going to be that slickster. He is, I'm going to put these heavy hands on you in rapid succession and break you down. It has to be that way, in my opinion. 
We've, it's been proven that now. Because you went in there with Yusik, who's five foot tall, and all that boxing rubbish didn't do nothing twice. So that's over now. Forget about the boxing. This is what we need. We need a man. I'm not saying, can Dubois beat Yusik? I'd never say that. What I would say is, this Dubois, who looks relentless, and I believe Hergovic, I believe Hergovic hit Dubois harder than Yusik could. That's the truth. The difference is, though, I think, I don't think Yusik hits hard, but he's, Hergovic's footwork's obviously a lot, a lot stiffer. And Yusik's getting in, and he puts these little pity patty punches out. It just takes you off your, off your game. And over time, it just breaks you down, and you're like, I'll just give up. It's just all over you kind of thing. You can't ever get something clean off. I guess Dubois did find that body shot, but I do believe, deep in my heart, I think if Usyk had been given a 10-second count, he'd have made it. I don't think he he was actually knocked out, to be fair. I think he played on it. Once he knew the referee was on his side, I do think he played on it, but I think if it had been a 10-second count, he'd have got up. I don't think he was legitimately... We've seen people, I think Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell, he was legitimately not spark out to the body. Usyk wasn't. Um... So Dubois did find that shot, but with his people, what we know for a fact is, what we know for a fact is, with this tenacity, yeah, if Dubois' odds were 5-1, to one, fighting Usyk the first time, they're going to be 3-1 to one this time, 2-1. to one. Would I back him to beat Usyk? I wouldn't, but I'd like to see it. I mean, he's earned the shot now, ultimately, he's earned the shot now. Yeah, because it wasn't long ago, yeah, us man was saying, if... AJ beats Hergovic. If AJ beats Hergovic, then he deserves to fight Usyk again. Although at this point they're talking about Dubois and AJ, and and really, Dubois. I mean, Usyk's beat Dubois already. Usyk's beat AJ twice already. So really, I didn't like the whole. I still don't like the fact they're trying to strip Usyk of the belt. That shouldn't happen for sure. But can you sit here and say Usyk? Sorry, AJ or Dubois really deserves a Usyk fight now. I don't. However, the winner of Dubois and AJ, that guy, I don't care what none of the Usyk fans say. People are saying, oh, he don't need to rematch Dubois again. Oh, he don't need to rematch AJ again. I'm telling you now for free. The winner of that fight, the winner of Dubois and AJ, bearing in mind it's the new improved Dubois, it's the new improved AJ, the winner of that fight... I hate to say it, people. I do hate to say this, but the winner of that fight, yeah, especially if it's a KO. If Dubois knocks AJ out, yeah, or if AJ knocks Dubois out, I'm sorry, people. I'm going to have to back that dude because you know the odds are going to be three to one or two and a half to one. So if AJ knocks out Dubois, yeah, which is possible, I think AJ is quicker than Dubois. I think he's cuter. What I don't know, though, yet, I'm going to be honest, what I don't know is, is how much AJ wants it. Dubois has shown me now, he can go in there against the odds. He can go in there two, three rounds down and still be hungry pushing forward against a heavy hitter. Does AJ hit harder than Hergovic? Probably. Probably. Um, is he going to be as aggressive though? It's one thing to be aggressive when you've got Otto Wallin or Ngannou in front of you. It's another thing to be aggressive with Dubois who's going to be throwing hands back with you. That said, Dubois does have holes. Hergovic showed them holes. And AJ is almost like a mix in a way between Hergovic and uh, Dubois. He's got more of the hooks like Dubois has. But he's also got more of the prime boxing. Dubois can be a bit gappy. He can be a bit cumbersome. People say AJ's cumbersome. AJ was always not as cumbersome as Dubois. Dubois looks like almost like not as Dubois is more dynamic than Frank Bruno, but I get Frank Bruno vibes from him. Then again, AJ's shown Frank Bruno vibes as well when he gets rocked. But AJ is more is more dynamic than Dubois, I'd say. Dubois is a bit... Even when he's charging forward, he gets a bit... He smothers his shots. At points in the fight, he'd have to uh, Hergovic against the ropes. And he looked like Sean Porter in there, just kind of f- f- flurrying away. But end of the day, people, like Mike Tyson says, F it. It's a fight. But yeah, man, salute to Dubois. I didn't see this coming. I thought if anyone was going to win, it'd be on points. To be quite frank, I thought Hergovic, Hergovic couldn't stop Zhang and Dubois barely stopped Jarrell Miller. But it just shows that this triangle business is good for nothing. Yeah, the fact that you can't stop Zhang and or the fact that you can't or barely stop Jarrell Miller don't mean nothing. It's a fight. And Dubois showed that. So salute to Dubois. He's really done it the hard way. It's one thing, yeah, always to be hard. If you're naturally just hard, yeah, then... 
That's not overcoming adversity. You're just a hard bastard, genetically speaking or otherwise. Your environment slash genetics have made you that way. Can you be kind of, can you be, what's the word? Can you be cheered on for that? Not really. What you can be cheered on for, clearly Dubois has to quit in him, right? But to have that quit in your genetic slash environmental makeup and to then overcome that and get popped in the mouth against Ergovic in a fight you're supposed to lose anyway and still carry on. He had his best rounds. Dubois never done that. Dubois, that four to six round fighter. He goosed after four to six rounds. Got nothing left. So for him to be getting, he was getting better. I think it was rounds five, six, seven. Getting better. To do that, coming from where he's come from, it's, from, it's phenomenal. I ain't going to lie to you. You can't tell me he could have really had much more adversity than the first few rounds against Hergovic. That fight was looking in the first few rounds like, oh, damn. I was, I was oh, damn. This dude getting punched up. But being hard is the game changer. That's something you can control in your life. You can't control if the other guy's got Anuaki genetics. You can't control if you feel tired that day. What you can control is, I'm leaving it all out there. I'm fighting to the bitter end. Because if Dubois had a faltered in them early rounds, for all we know, Hergovic would have got turned on and got him out of there. Yeah? His heart was the great game changer here. It wasn't really his skill, ain't gonna lie. There was nothing super technical in there from Dubois that I thought, oh, he's... No, this was raw heart. Raw heart and being a big dude and swinging them big old hands. Something AJ needed to do a long time ago. Anyway, salute, salute to Dubois. Big shout out to his team as well, and they should be proud of themselves. It's a very rare turnaround to be able to flip this script. That script was looking like, oh damn, he's going to be representing BLM forevermore. But yeah, man, big shout out to Dan. He's only young as well. People were saying, it's, for me, it felt cliche. Oh, he's only, Frank was right saying, oh, he's only young. But they always say that, don't they? He's got to say that. But he, genuinely, it's looking now like he really was that young. And as much as I want, I believe, if I was to bet now, AJ Dubois, I'm betting on AJ, but that fight again, I believe, I don't think AJ, if Dubois, and Dubois, Dubois is going to be getting more energy now. He's stopped Jarrell Miller. Was that a fluke? This definitely wasn't. The Jarrell Miller one, I ain't going to lie, I thought that oh, was probably a bit of a fluke. Jarrell Miller's no good. He's inactive. He's never beat no one. He's 500 pounds. Big, oversized heavy bag. But Hergovic, Hergovic was telling you how much it meant to him. He, this is how he gets put on. Hergovic ain't made 10 mil. This was his way to eat. So to go in there and take that man's heart out, take Her Hergovic's Croatian heart out, yeah, that's a feat. So as much as technically speaking, I'd back AJ, I'm telling you now, if AJ goes in there, yeah, and he's looking like Larry Holmes, flabby and whatever else, on them two-pack bars, yeah, emotionally and psychologically speaking, it's going to be a long night for him. Although... It does have to be said, the jab for Hergovic. Hergovic abandoned the jab. That was working perfectly. Dubois' jab, is he carries his arm a bit wide, and it's kind of like, it's, it's strong. He kind of thuds it forward. Hergovic's was narrow and pop, pop. It's popping your chops. AJ's is like a hybrid between the two. He can pop that jab in your mouth, and I'd think that Dubois will be getting, I mean, Joe Joy showed that too. Slow Joy's. He's slow as molasses, right? And he is popping Dubois in his mouth all night. So that hasn't really changed. So technically, I back... AJ to win, but, I mean, ugh. AJ's going to, rightfully so, for AJ to get another Usyk shot, I need to see him in a fight, now if he can go in there, yeah, look at the floor and bowl his hand over, like he did against Nganu and knock Dubois out, fair play then, whatever, but I'd like to think now that he's going to take something from AJ, we're going to need to see a 7 or an 8 out of 10 heart from him, which is the rightful thing we should see for a Usyk fight. For me to have, for AJ to earn the shot against Usyk, he needs to show something different now. He needs to show he's prepared to exchange with Dubois. That's the end of it, people. If you can't exchange with Dubois, then you ain't going to be in the right mindset to chase Usyk around the ring for 12 rounds. That's what you're not going to be in the mindset to do. If you're in there boxing with, boxing with Dubois and just being super cautious again, nothing's changed. To, you just go in there and pop you in your head and you'll be like, ooh, all spun around the block. Someone needs to put it on Usyk. That is the bottom line, people. Tyson, the bare bum in the shower, Fury, couldn't do it. Johnston, Anthony Johnston, couldn't do it twice. 
Someone got to, the war couldn't do it. Someone now has got to get the big ass in there and maybe Usyk will do do a job on them. Fair play to him if he does. That's what I need to see now. Dubois could be the next one to do it. If he beats AJ. And if he beats AJ, he's certainly earned that at that point. It's one of the best runs around these times. But, I mean, Dubois has got a better... Who do you respect? Dubois has got a better career than Wilder. That's the truth, people. Who's Wilder's never beat Hergovic. Wilder's barely beat... I'd say Jerome Miller's like Luis Ortiz. I think Jerome Miller and Luis Ortiz would be a good fight. That would be a close fight. Fact. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%. No doubt about it. Stop it.